Hello everybody, this is Scott Roberts from Explore Scientific and the Explore Alliance. And uh, tonight we're going to have the 86th Global Star Party. And I, I wanted to talk about the Star Party a little bit and the people that are gonna be on it. Um, but I also wanted to give you updates on the Arizona Dark Sky Star Party that will be happening. This will be a real event, actually a real hybrid event that's gonna be uh, conducted in Oracle, Arizona, uh, September 21st through the 25th. So I just got news today that um, that Biosphere 2 is also going to be uh, working with us to have part of the event at Biosphere 2. I plan to actually conduct a global star party uh, live from Biosphere 2 uh, with a real audience and a audience that would be uh, uh, you know, contacting us from around the world like you are right now. Anyways, um, I think it's the future of uh, events. And, um, you know, I'm really happy to be able to combine what we do here uh, with uh, be meeting people really in person. Um, so mark your calendars, September 21st to the 25th. I will be putting out a uh, web page uh, that you can sign up for it if you'd like to. And uh, it would be a lot of fun to get you out under some really dark skies. Uh, Oracle State Park, where it's going to be mostly conducted, uh, is Arizona's first international dark sky park. And so uh, Mike Wiesner, who's watching in the audience right now, uh, was instrumental in, uh, in getting that park, uh, uh, its classification and all the rest of it. Um, I've talked about this several times on our shows here. And uh, so I was uh, recently out at Oracle and surveyed the area myself, and it's going to be fantastic. So I think you'll have a lot of fun if you can go. Um, tonight, uh, I wanted to kind of go through um, the Global Star Party and talk a little bit about it because we've now done 86 Global Star Parties. Um, uh, starting with what we used to call the virtual star party. Um, and I think there was something like, oh, maybe eight or nine of them. And then I changed the name to global star party because that just seemed more appropriate. Okay. But we've had some really amazing people on the program. Many of them come back uh, each week uh, to do, um, you know, their presentations and stuff. And so um, one of them, let me see if I can share this with you. One of them, of course, is um, uh, David Eicher. And I asked David to write up a little, um, you know, a, a, the, the reason that he thought it was important to explore, which is really the whole point of doing amateur astronomy and um, uh, so, you know, it's, it's, I think what's really cool about being with other amateur astronomers is that often you can get them to express their feelings about, you know, why it's important for them to explore, uh, you know, and, you know, what they have found, the adventures they've had in the sky. You know, I've had plenty of them myself, and I know that uh, if you're an amateur astronomer, you have too. Um, so let's, let's share this. This is, uh, this is a little piece here. I'll bring it into presentation mode. There we go. Just like my presenters do, okay? They have to go through this process as well. 
But uh, uh, David said, gazing up at a dark sky, dark night sky, is great medicine for the soul. When we drink in the enormity of the universe, understanding our place in a huge cosmos, we receive the ultimate perspective on humanity. A hundred billion galaxies, and we are in just one star system inside a single one. Appreciating our ability to think, to untangle the universe and its mysteries, tells us about the amazing power of the human mind and the value of the experience life gives us. And so that uh, very well put, David, I, I love that. I use, um, I use this on, you know, when I'm asked to give talks uh, to astronomy clubs, um, you know, where they just have me in a Zoom uh, uh, meeting or something like that. Um, with that, you know, with present other presentations that I do, but I love to collect uh, the thoughts from other amateur astronomers. David Eicher is a great one, uh, being uh, editor in chief of Astronomy Magazine. Um, the theme of the 86th Global Star Party is looking is looking beyond. Um, you know, I'm often inspired by the prior Global Star Party that I do about what the next one should be. And, uh, you know, so I'm always thinking about, you know, what, what is it that's going to, uh, um, you know, trigger our presenters to uh, give talks and presentations around a theme. And uh, so I felt that looking beyond was appropriate because uh, now we have uh, J West, we have, uh, you know, the uh, ELT telescope being uh, uh, designed, we have um, uh, just incredible uh, observatories and stuff. That's all on the professional side. But on the amateur side, you have amateurs discovering exoplanets, uh, you know, det detecting them at least. Um, and uh, you know, just doing amazing astrophotography and just really exciting the average person. I would say today, in looking at some of the astrophotography, uh, you know, compared to um, early spacecraft shots and um, uh, maybe earlier professional shots, even stuff done with like the 200-inch telescope, that amateurs often outpace and out and blow those uh, those instruments away. Um, the, you know, the, the most important part, I think, about the, the, uh, the theme of looking beyond is that, you know, it gives you a chance to get a, to gain a greater understanding. Uh, we're all uh, searching for our place in the world, in our communities, in our societies. Uh, but, you know, few people actually, except for amateur astronomers, very few people think about um, their place in the universe on a you know, daily basis. I would say that many of us that uh, love to observe the sky, always have our eyes on the sky to a degree, um, and you amateur astronomers know what I'm talking about, uh, you, know, you start to rise above the mundane. You know, your problems start to shrink, okay? Um, and uh, you start to think about, uh, you know, how you're connected with the vastness of the universe itself. So with every global star party, we start off with David Levy. And David is, uh, he's just an amazing uh, amateur astronomer, um, not professionally trained, uh, but uh, has discovered many, many comets. He's discovered uh, many asteroids. Uh, he may even have a supernova discovery or, or two under his belt. I'll have to ask him that question. But he's an author of many books on astronomy um, and uh, he's poetic. And so you're going, if you haven't listened to David at a lecture or if you've never seen a global star party, you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention to David because he starts off our, our events with, uh, commentary about the, the theme, and, um, and he always has poetic selections of, uh, you know, from uh, writers from, you know, Shakespeare to, uh, you know, other, you know, uh, poets, great poets uh, throughout the uh, uh, century. So um, the co-host, of our program tonight is Maxi Filares. 
And Ma Maxi is our, he's our newest Explore Alliance ambassador. You're going to start to see a page uh, for him. Uh, and, you know, he is just an amazing outreach uh, educator, I think. And uh, um, he is uh, an amazing astrophotographer as well. And he's already helped me put together a global star party before. Uh, so on this particular one, he's got, uh, he brought in Harold Locke and, um, uh, you know, he's got uh, uh, a couple of others that I will uh, talk about here in a second, but um, uh, let's, let's talk about Harold a little bit. Harold has been in the audience of our shows for a long time, and we have begged him to come on to Global Star Party. And uh, so finally, on this particular event, uh, Maxie was able to lure him in. And uh, so we're really happy to have Harold present. Uh, and we hope that uh, he finds it to be a comfortable and fun um, uh, environment to, you know, share his passion. But this is um, this is a photo of Harold. If you've never seen him, he looks like a very kind, happy guy. Um, this was a little quote that he made. He says, "I find that I stall and spend time thinking about and feeling the stars in areas of the sky where the largest grouping of stars fill my eyepieces." field of view. It's very energizing and calming. I love that because uh, that is something that I also share, uh, you know, as far as uh, the feeling about exploring the sky with my telescope. So I love to do visual work. I love to do astrophotography. In fact, I love it all. So, um, but uh, let's go and talk a little bit about the other people that will be on there. Um, and some of you that are presenters are actually watching. Um, uh, Navin, uh, who's Sentil Nagapan's son, he'll be giving a presentation. Um, and uh, let me give a list of the other people that will present tonight. Make sure I'm getting this in order because uh, we normally have quite a few present. But uh, David Levy asked for a gentleman named David Rossiter uh, to come on. David is... Um, he's a musician and he's an amateur astronomer. He's got a big Dobsonian, uh, but apparently he can sing and I think he'll play guitar. Um, but uh, he's going to do a special presentation for us tonight, right after David's uh, introduction. Um, the Astronomical League comes on to every one of our Global Star Parties and they are the official door prize uh, sponsor. Uh, they, uh, the uh, executives of the Astronomical League get together. They um, create questions for that challenge our audience. The audience answers those questions, and then they're put into a pool of, uh, of people who got the answer right, and then they pull uh, at random a uh, person from that pool. Um, it's a lot of fun. This time, Don Nab, uh, who's been on our program before, um, you know, they're in sight, they rotate the executive officers to do Global Star Party with me, and I'm glad that they do. If you don't already belong to the Astronomical League, you should find an astronomy club that is either a club member, you know, um, or you can join the Astronomical League as a member at large. When you join, you'll be joining the world's largest federation of astronomy clubs uh, with over 20,000 members, so. Um, then we turn to, it'll be Dave Eicher's turn. Uh, he has been going through a series of uh, sharing his minerals and his crystals with us. Uh, he, is, uh, uh, he loves astronomy, but uh, astronomy for David doesn't stop just looking at the sky. It also uh, involves looking down and uh, uh, he's going to show us these amazing uh, radioactive mineral, minerals tonight. And I think that that's actually going to end his series on all of his minerals and crystals that he's been showing us. And then, then afterwards, he's going to turn back to, uh, you know, discussions on galaxies, the universe, nebula, et cetera. So um, right after David Eicher will be Harold Locke, uh, which uh, again, I'm really excited. He's gonna talk about his journey. Uh, through astronomy, and I think that's very, very cool. Uh, Sebastian Jeremias, uh, I believe, is also from uh, Argentina, like Maxi is, and uh, Sebastian 
uh, has been, uh, he's an uh, IT professional, but he's uh, been into amateur astronomy for a couple of years now, and apparently has made a lot of progress. And so uh, Maxie wanted to bring him on. Uh, so if you're watching tonight, you know, I'll let Maxie introduce him, but uh, I'm excited to have new people on. I think it's fantastic. Um, and then, of course, uh, uh, Maxi Filares will give a short presentation. Kareem, Professor Kareem Jaffer uh, from the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada, uh, the Montreal Center, uh, who's been joining us on many global star parties, of which I'm very thankful for because he's just uh, he's just an amazing educator. Um, uh, his talk tonight will be looking beyond the naked eye. Uh, he is introducing uh, Blake Nancaro, who's the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada's National Observing Committee. He's the chair. Um, so the, I know that he's given presentations before. I was kind of reviewing some of those on YouTube, and so I'm real excited about having Blake on. Then young Navin Sentil Kumar, uh, who's given maybe eight presentations, I think, something like that, on Global Star Party. Um, he always picks a great subject uh, and uh, gives his presentations, presentation style gets better every time he does it. So uh, very knowledgeable young man, and uh, we expect big things out of him as he, uh, as he grows into adulthood. But uh, you're seeing him young here and, uh, you know, prepare to be amazed. Uh, we'll take a 10-minute break, and then we're coming back with uh, Dr. Marcello Souza, uh, Marcello is, um, you know, uh, an amazing outreach educator and professional educator in Brazil, and uh, so he'll be with us. Uh, and um, then, of course, uh, Adrian Bradley, who's been on many, many Global Star Parties now, uh, uh, covers Nightscapes. And then for a second time on Global Star Party, Daniel Higgins from Astro World. Um, you, he has his own program called Astro World TV, and uh, so he'll be at the end of the program. Uh, there were a couple of pe other people that had wanted to uh, chime in, but it was um, uh, it was getting late for them, and they just didn't have time to prepare the presentation. Um, but we'll see them in the next Global Star Party after this one. So um, I think. That's all I have to share with you today. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope that uh, you, you join us. Now, remember, uh, we've gone through daylight savings time. Okay, so we're still holding the Global Star Party at 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time, but uh, it's about an hour different than what you might have experienced before. So, um, but until that time, you guys keep looking up and... Uh, uh, we hope to see you on Global Star Party on the channels that you're watching right now. So take care. Thank you. 